on March 21, Supreme Court constituted a seven-member committee to find a balanced approach for conservation measures for Great Indian Bustard and efforts to generate renewable energy in the same regions. Background Supreme Court took this step during the hearing of M.K. Ranjit Singh. Union of India case, which goes back to 2019, SC already gave the judgment for the case in 2021, but it continued to hear the case to ensure a smooth implementation of its ruling. SC ordered the installation of bird diverters, where overhead power lines are there. Also, leaving the possibility for converting overhead cables into underground power lines and the prioritizing installation of underground power lines for future projects. Great Indian Bustard is an avian species. GIB is a bustard species found on the Indian subcontinent. GIB is among the heaviest of the flying birds. The species has a current viable population of 100 to 150 individuals in India and mainly survives in the desert of Rajasthan that holds about 100 individuals. Habitat It inhabits dry grasslands and scrublands. It was classified as a critically endangered by the IUCN in 2011. Conservation status IUCN Red List Critically Endangered Wildlife Protection Act 1972 Schedule 1 Sites Appendix 1. Threat Most prominent threat to these birds is the overhead power cables. Frequent collisions with overhead power cables resulted in the death of many GP. M.K. Ranjit Singh, the Union of India case. In June 2019, former civil servant Ranjit Singh filed a petition in SC seeking protection for the GIB. The plea emphasized that GIB habitat was confined to certain regions in the Kachan Desert in Gujarat and Registan. Recently, two areas witnessed huge growth of renewable energy infrastructure, resulting in construction of overhead power cables. These overhead power cables are the primary cause for the death of the GIB, as per the petition. Great Indian Bustard lacks frontal vision. This is the reason they cannot detect overhead power lines ahead in their flying path. Since they are one of the heaviest flying birds, they are unable to maneuver across power lines within close distances. Thus, GIB are vulnerable to collision with power lines. In low voltage lines, usually electrocution causes death due to smaller phase to phase separation distance. High voltage lines causes death not due to electrocution but due to collision. The considering installing underground power lines in future, SC ordered the respondents, central government and states governments of Rajasthan and Gujarat to install bird diverters in areas with existing overhead power cables. These are wheel shaped discs which reflects sunlight and moonlight. These discs are attached to power lines to alert birds about a power cable from a distance to avoid collisions. The 2024 order. On January 19, 2024, multiple solar and wind energy producing companies filed applications in the SC claiming that the April 2021 order was interfering with their ability to set up business. Concern. Appearing in SC, Central Government highlighted the practical and financial difficulties involved in implementing the decision as a large area. 80,688 a square kilometre had been identified as potential GIB habitat and a significant area is identified as priority GIB habitat. On March 19, the case was heard again. An additional Solicitor General recommended the creation of a technical committee constituted by the Ministry of Power to give recommendations on the undergrounding of power lines. SC Bench was sympathetic towards the centres, suggested carving out a critical area of roughly 6,000 square kilometre, where undergrounding could take place. On March 21, SC lifted the blanket restriction against constructing underground power lines. Thus, SC created a seven-member committee which has been tasked with suggesting conservation and protection measures for the GIB, identifying areas where power lines can be constructed, as well as areas that are vital for the conservation of the GB. The committee has to submit a report by July 31st.